Welcome again to this channel. So for this video, we'll be discussing the three basic uh, data sets that we'll be dealing with when we work with ArcMap or in with uh, if we work in any GIS uh, application in general. So there are basically three data sets that uh, we usually deal with. Uh, we have uh, vector layers, raster layers, and spreadsheets. So I think if you watch our lesson one and two, you're already familiar with the uh, the first uh, data set, uh, we have uh, the vector layers, which is uh, composed, of course, of um, these uh, three um, vectors. We have a point vector, a line, and a polygon. So we also call this as layers. Now we have a point layer, a line layer, and a polygon layer. So these each of these um, uh, vector files uh, are are usable depending on the internet application of the user. So, for example, if you want to represent something in terms of points, so you can use the point or, um, for example, in this, uh, in, in this example, uh, we are showing a map of um, airports here by, of course, using points because we don't um, need to show the whole area of the airport. We just want to show the location of the airports relative to a whole country. And also we have here a sample contour map so if you want to uh, uncheck the two layers and then zoom to layer to specific um, layer which is our contour and then we can change the symbology which uh, we actually did in our lesson uh, two so we can have um, quantities and then you have contour and okay and then you have apply and then okay so this is uh, actually lines so this is our line layer or line vector showing different contours so contours are lines of um, specific elevation so each line here shows the elevation value so that's a uh, line vector or line layer and then we have lastly we have the polygon layer which is a uh, boundary no? uh, usually is used to represent a specific boundary so any enclosed um, region you use boundary to represent those and then the default symbol is always a single symbol so for symbology changes and symbology applications uh, we already discussed that in our lesson two so that's it for vector layers and then most um, common vector files we have here this is uh, from the website of arc um, gis so these are the most common um, vector files we have the shp or the s3 shape file and then you have this uh, geojson i'm not familiar with this one but maybe some of you uh, and then we have the gml also not familiar with this one kml is the file type if you grab something from google earth no? so keyhole markup language that's kml and then we have this one if you extract the uh, data from uh, gps you'll have uh, that GPX. So all of these uh, files are workable within your GIS um, workspace. Okay. So if we uh, look into the properties of our layer, you will see that the format uh, this uh, uh, file or layer is actually in that this HP. No? So this is a shape file. These uh, vector layers are in shape file format so you can also add other file formats that are shown earlier here we have the following so I'm just uh, familiar with this one the S3 shape file the KML and KMZ so KML is uh, or KMZ is just zip zip version of KML which are both um, workable in ArcMap and then we have here the GPS uh, format GPX which is uh, which can be extracted from a GPS um, equipment okay so that's it that's for vector layers now we will add the next uh, uh, data set we'll have raster data sets so raster data sets they can be um, this one no? so anything that is represented with uh, cells so I think the main difference that you can spot on between a vector layer and a raster layer is that uh, if you can observe here the raster layer is actually uh, continuous data. So again, this is uh, from the ArcGIS uh, website. Continuous data, everything is connected. So, as opposed to, for example, this one, 
uh, we have here uh, our example earlier so I will check it so zoom these are actually not connected so it's a discontinuous uh, layer but uh, you can actually show this as a continuous layer if we uh, convert this one to a raster so uh, conversion will be on a later um, tutorial so this one is a raster data so common types of raster data we have so many file types here that are um, that can be worked in ArcMap. So we have PNG, so anything that has uh, cells, so images. So we have PDF, PNG, JPEG, and uh, more workable um, file formats in GIS. We have here, you can add sample uh, data set, DM. This one is uh, actually a uh, digital elevation model. So most uh, digital elevation models are in uh, uh, TIFF format, TIFF. GeoTIFF or in grid. So, for example, if we change the symbology, so again for symbology tutorial, you can refer to lesson two, and then you have that one, and you can zoom to layer to zoom into the image. So this is actually an elevation image. So uh, let me see just uh, this one for uh, reference. Okay, so these are actually this is actually in the province of um, Misamis Oriental. No? So this is a digital elevation model. So most again most uh, digital elevation models are shown in grid or TIF format. So if we look into the properties of this, uh, you can see that the format here, as uh, stated, is in TIFF. Okay, so this is uh, this map shows elevation. So these are actually. Low elevation is the is the area here, and then you have the higher elevation, the area here. So if we compare the this one, the contour, which is a uh, let me show you, contour is actually um, represented into separate lines, but each line represents a specific elevation. But if you zoom into our um, DTM. This one, so these are actually represented by cells or pixels, and the resolution is uh, represented by the dimension of each cell. So if you can see, there is no breaks in our data, so it's a continuous map showing the same uh, variable. No? So both contour and your DM actually shows elevation, but on different um, different ways. No? So this one uh, uses lines and this one uses cells so you can actually measure the to get the resolution of your map so this is a oh no uh, we can actually not measure it we have to make sure that the that the coordinate reference system of this one is in uh, projected okay so since it's the it's still on the geographic um, reference system which again we will be discussing that uh, thoroughly the difference between a projected and a geographic because as of now the unit of this uh, is in degrees so you cannot actually measure the um, distance or the length of every cell but you can convert this one to a projected uh, coordinate reference system so that we can measure the uh, cell size but uh, you can actually see we of the data that the cell size actually can be found uh, no no this uh this data has no linear unit but uh, it should be written here that this is a 30 by 30 30 meters by 30 meters um, data set so as of now since it's in a geographic order reference system so you can only see that cell size is in degrees not in meters but anyway uh, that's it. Now we just want to show that uh, raster is a continuous data set as, compo uh, as, as compared no? as opposed to the vector data set which is actually an, uh, uh, having breaks. No? So airports again this is also an example of a vector file. Um, it's a discontinuous file. Okay. So 
we can also add uh, another one uh, aside from the more workable TIFF and grid files you can also add JPEG JPEG or um, anything that is uh, an image so so see it, it's not uh, added here no? it's not added anywhere here because the JPEG is not ortho rectified no? so, or geo referenced image another term which we'll be discussing um, in our later tutorials so it's not uh, geo rectified meaning it doesn't have any um, coordinates related to the image so as of now this is just a mere image so just a JPEG so it cannot be modified it cannot be analyzed it's just a JPEG so one way of um, converting this into a JS workable file is the process we call as JO referencing so anyway we're just showing here that uh, these are the some just uh, some examples of a raster file and you can add these things using the add file button okay so these are the vector layers these are again the raster layers so the next will be our um, spreadsheets so spreadsheets you can still use this one add data we have here three sample spreadsheets we have an excel file which is uh, 2003 and then version and then you have the total, uh, 2019 and then you have the csv or comma separated value okay so let me just uh, go into the arcgis uh, website so arcgis supports both excel 2003 and 2007 so later um, versions is not acceptable no? so in the arcgis platform you cannot add later versions than 2007 no? So what you do is to save your Excel file to uh, 2003 version or you can also use a comma separated value, okay? So let me just open my sample GIS and then you have this comma separated value here or CSV. So if we open that one, if you're not familiar with the CSV, so you can actually see that here if you save us, then you will have a comma separated, a comma delimited uh, file format here. No? So you can just save your Excel into a CSV if you don't have uh, 2003 or 2007. But I think I, I guess everyone has a 2003 version, so no problem with that. You just uh, save your Excel file into a 2003 version so that it can be added into your this one no? your ArcGIS or ArcMap 10.1 okay so we just cancel for that in the meantime so we can we will try not to add the uh, 2019 uh, that's that's it no so it's not uh, accepted in the ArcMap um, environment but uh, if we add the uh, 1003 and the CSV so just use control and the keyboard control and press another one to add both um, simultaneously and then you have so notice that uh, that uh, table of contents here is also changed no? so the appearance of the table of contents is also changed so it, it is only changed if we add a spreadsheet or a csv or an excel file but you can always uh, return to the original with this one because you can add, um, read the spreadsheet if it's uh, like this. Huh? So you can only see the images, the maps and the images. But if you use this one, you can see the spreadsheets. Okay. So now we have added, uh, I think this one is the 2003 and you can also add the CSV right there. Okay. So we have the 2003. And then you have the uh, CSV, okay? So airport stable that CSV. So to open your spreadsheet, you can just um, open the table, that one, okay? So you can now the contents of your table. Uh, my cursor has not changed. So the contents of the table, you can see here. So you can uh, import the Excel files in the, in, in a 2003 version or CSV version okay so I think that's it for the three basic uh, data sets that we usually add into our map to help us analyze our maps we have the again we have the vector files here 
you can still uh, use uh, or view airports for example using this um, this uh, setup no, in the table of contents so nothing is uh, changed only the appearance is changed because uh, we have added spreadsheets here okay and then you can also show the regions and to remove you can also right click and then right click and then use the remove um, button okay so i think that's it for the basic uh, data types of um, gis and specifically here in arcmap so if you like the contents of our videos here uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so thank you for watching again